allows young generation to cherish values, customs and cultures. 1,700 metric tons of food donated to Food Bank Malaysia. Good afternoon, welcome to News on 2. I'm Jessica Lee. To Dr. Mother Mohammad calls on the present generation not to allow humanitarian values, customs and cultures to erode or be sidelined in their pursuit of success in this modern age. The Prime Minister said they should instead capitalise on the advances in the digital and automation era to become more successful while holding on steadfastly to values, customs and cultures. Kita sebenarnya membenar diri kita terperangkap di dalam menangani arus kemajuan era digital dan otomasi ini. Kita seolah-olah tidak berupaya untuk menerap nilai-nilai yang baik apabila kita terpaksa mengejar pemodernan tersebut kerana ia tidak menunggu sesiapa dan yang lambat akan tersamping. Tun Dr. Mahathir said this when launching the National Heritage and Culture Charter at the Islamic Arts Museum in the federal capital yesterday. The charter is the outcome of the resolutions tabled at the Cultural Congresses held in 1971 and 2017 in the effort to preserve the nation's heritage and culture. The Premier said many successful nations of today are among those which hold on steadfastly to these noble values and practices. He hoped the National Heritage and Culture Charter will take the country one more step closer to become a high culture society together with a sustainable sound Malay culture. Commenting on the East Coast Rail Link or ECRL, Dun Dr. Mahathir said the project will carry on despite calls for a review. We have a contract to be construct it and as you know we have reduced the scope and reduced the cost. His comments came amid the recent court testimony by Dato Amhari Effendi Nazaruddin, who had alleged that the project as well as the Trans Sabah gas pipeline and the multi-product pipeline were used to bail out 1MDB and SRC International. Now, seven states had disagreed to the federal government's proposal to increase the minimum marriageable age to 18. According to Deputy Prime Minister Dr. Sri Dr. Wan Aziza Wan Ismail, the states which rejected the change are Sarawak, Pahang, Trungano, Perlis, Negeri Sembilan, Kedah and Kelantan. Gatuk Sri Dr. Wan Aziza, who is also the Women, Family and Community Development Minister, said the Malaysian Islamic Development Department, or JAKIM, is currently in the midst of amending the Islamic Family Law or the Federal Territories 1984 Act 303. <laughs> Dalam proses pindaan Akta 303, Akta 303 menaikkan hak umur perkahwinan pada 18 tahun bagi perempuan. Manakala Jakim telah buat penyelarasan di negeri-negeri untuk enakmen undang-undang keluarga Islam di negeri-negeri. Sebab ini adalah di bidang kuasa negeri-negeri. Ya. She added the department was also coordinating with other states on a similar change involving their respective Islamic family law. Over 1,700 metric tons of food have been donated by the public to the Food Bank Malaysia program since its introduction in August last year. Domestic Trade and Consumer Affairs Minister Datuk Sri Saifuddin Nasution Ismail says a total of 311,189 B40 low-income household members have benefited from the program. Datuk Sri Saifuddin said the program will resume to alleviate the burden of B40 income families as well as for the management of food waste in Malaysia to achieve zero waste as practiced by over 65 countries including Japan, South Korea and Indonesia. He added that the Food Bank CISWA program would also be introduced to Polytechnics, Institute of Teacher Education or IPG and private higher education institutions nationwide starting next year akan melengkapkan program food bank ke seluruh 20 universiti awam 
di negara kita. Uh, ini bagi membolehkan pada tahun hadapan kita akan mensasarkan pula untuk bawa program food bank ini dalam format yang sama food pantry ataupun central kitchen ke institut pendidikan guru ke politeknik dan juga ke IPTS. Delstri Saifuddin said this to reporters after the launch of UniMap Food Bank Siswa program in Arau Perlis yesterday. And that's it from us this afternoon in our top story. PM wants young generation to cherish values, customs and cultures. Join us again at 7pm for more updates on the latest happenings. I'm Jessica Lee. See you then.